Hi there, my Leos, and welcome back to Star Lord's Tarot. This is going to be your tarot forecast for the month of March. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them out in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First up, we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse, followed by the Queen of Cups upright. And next, we have the uh, Knight of Wands upright, followed by Major Arcana, the Hanged Man in the reverse. And next, we have the Three of Cups upright, followed by the uh, Queen of Swords in the reverse. And next, we have Major Arcana, Strength card in the reverse, followed by Major Arcana, the Fool reversed. And next, we have Major Arcana, the Devil reversed. And lastly, we have Major Arcana, the Death card in the upright. Okay, these are all four of them. Major Arcana. Hmm. Let's see what's going on for my Leos. First of all, you have for your overall energy that of the Ten of Cups in the reverse position. Ten of Cups upright, this can is the card that represents like full emotional fulfillment feeling really good a lot of times it's on the home front this can represent sometimes uh family reunions that kind of thing where everybody's sort of getting together and everyone's feeling the love when it's in the reverse position however it could indicate that uh something is off um in this uh situation it's still good it's still very good energy however it's uh when it's in reverse it can sometimes indicate there has been um maybe an upset in the family uh maybe you were going to have a family reunion but people are not cooperating that kind of thing or uh if it's in the home and the home is normally a family um gatherings and, and things like that and everybody's normally getting together and feeling really good it could be that there is um something missing uh maybe like i said there's just um a, a lack there's not a full lack because the ten of cups in the reverse goes back to the nine of cups upright which is the wish fulfillment card and it is a card of feeling emotionally fulfilled however there's something missing so that's really what I'm picking up from this card. It's like there's still a lot of love there, but something is off. Okay, and it could be in the home front. It could be playing out with family or extended family, friends, that kind of thing. Now, what's crossing you, you have the Queen of Cups in the upright position. Lovely energy. The Queen of Cups is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, it could be a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, uh, the Queen of Cups, this um, could be your own energy. If it's not, it could be that it's somebody you're dealing with. Queen of Cups uh, is very nice energy from on the emotional front because the Queen of Cups is very compassionate, caring, understanding. She's mastered her emotions. She knows how to uh, deal with the emotions in a very uh, mature way. Okay, so maybe some of you guys are wanting or needing compassion from this person, and this person is someone you can count on. For others of you, it could be you are embodying the qualities of the Queen of Cups, and you are being uh, very compassionate and caring maybe towards this situation in the family that um, something has gone maybe a little bit wonky. So maybe you're, you know, you're the one consoling people or looking after the situation. Now, in your past, uh, this is more distant past. This would have been maybe, uh, you know, in the month of uh, February earlier or something you were dealing with a while ago. You have the energies of the Knight of Wands in the upright position. The Knight of Wands, um, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, like yourself, and Sagittarius. Now, the Knight of Wands, this is somebody who's moving very quickly towards uh, making an offer. Now, it could be that for some of you, maybe someone approached you a while ago and made an offer to you. Now, this could be an offer of all kinds of things. Could be an offer of travel. Could be an offer of a uh, business uh, venture. It could be an adventure. It could be a, a date. It could be anything. So, perhaps uh, some of you were dealing with um, this kind of thing, or it could have been your own energy, Leo. Maybe you you uh, made a, uh, a quick proposal to someone or offered someone something. Now the Knight of Wands, remember, he moves very quickly, goes in and leaves just as quickly as he, uh, as, uh, he arrives. So the energies you're leaving the month of February with 
and uh, approaching uh, March, you have the uh, Major Arcana, the Hanged Man in the reverse position. Well, this is coming out of a period of suspense and waiting and uh, just sort of um, suspended energy. When he's in the upright position, this is someone just waiting. Sometimes we have to be in that period of waiting because we have to wait on other people or we have to wait for a situation to change, that kind of thing. But, um, and sometimes it's a need to look at things from a different perspective. Now, when it's in the reverse position, this can be uh, representing one of two things is that um, maybe sometimes when the hanged man is in the reverse position, this can indicate looking at a situation from a very wonky uh, perspective where maybe you're not seeing things that in the, the correct way. Um, but uh, for others of you, this could just be representing that period of waiting is over. So there's fast moving energy in your past here and maybe you were moving or approaching something quickly and now you're finally, um, you're finally getting to move on something, some area of your life. So that's very good and it gives way to the uh, immediate future energies of the Queen of Swords in the upright position. Now again, another core card. This time it's air energy. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. Now it could be for some of you, um, maybe this is a person you were, are going to be dealing with. This could be a person you're dealing with uh, that's your boss or uh, someone in a uh, position of authority, um, even in law or anything like that. Um, this could also represent a spouse or it's going to be different for all of you. It's just a general read. So the Queen of Swords in the upright position, this is somebody who cuts to the truth, wants the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And um, she's very skilled with her words. She knows how to communicate, and she doesn't mince her words. Like the King of Swords, she just cuts right to the chase when she speaks. So it could be that some of you guys were dealing or will be dealing with someone like that. However, when she's in the reverse, she could be um, either uh, not communicating at all to you. And like I said, this if this isn't playing out as a person, this could just be you yourself. Uh, Leo, maybe you shut down communications on a person. Maybe it's an air sign, maybe it's someone um, in your in your life that you know you're having trouble dealing with and you've shut down communications with this person or this person could have shut down communications with you or whatever it is you are communicating about, maybe uh, this person is not telling the truth. So you have that aspect of it as well. Now, in the middle of the month of possible energies, you have the Three of Cups in the upright position. Lovely energy, Leo. This is a card that represents um, enjoying things on the emotional front. This can represent getting together with some close friends to celebrate something. This can represent uh, office parties, uh, work parties, that kind of thing where we're getting together with co-workers and enjoying ourselves immensely. For others of you, it could just be uh, getting together with some really good friends and having a very good social time. So very nice uh, energy for the middle of the month. Now this position here is you internally. It's not necessarily the face you're showing to the world, but how you could be feeling, Leo, in the month of um, March. And we have the strength card in the reverse position. Now strength card upright feel is just that. It's feeling strong, feeling uh, a lot of vitality, feeling confident and feeling like a rock. When it's in the reverse position, however, um, maybe you guys are feeling a little bit less than uh, vital. Maybe you're not feeling 100% like yourselves right now. Maybe you're not feeling as strong as you would like to be in the month of March. And you're not necessarily showing that to the world, but that could be what's going on with you internally. Now, in your people environment, you have Major Arcana of the Fool in the reverse position. So, um, this could be how people are seeing you, Leo, as someone who's not willing to take a leap of faith in some area of your life. It could be that um, people are seeing you as 
someone who maybe needs to take this new beginning and uh, do something with it or take this leap of faith but for some reason you're not doing it and I think the reason could be is that maybe you just don't feel that you have the confidence or the strength at this moment to do it so it seems like there could be a bit of a delay maybe it, you're just delayed at taking this new beginning it's not necessarily that you're not going to take it it's just it could just be that you're uh, delaying it <laughs> Now, in your hopes and fears, you have Nature Arcana, the devil in the reverse position. This is indicating, uh, for me, this is a hope um, because the devil is in reverse. This is hoping that we can break the chains of bondage. Now, this is a card that can also represent addictions and obsessions and that kind of thing. So maybe some of you are trying to quit smoking or trying to get rid of another addiction in your life and you're tr hoping to remain strong. And, um, and therefore, when the devil comes up in the reverse, this is indicating uh, releasing those chains of bondage and being able to have the willpower to uh, stick to our guns about whatever it is that we try to uh, release ourselves from that, are, that is no longer serving us. So, your hopes are definitely in the right place, Leo. Now, the end card here that finishes off the read and finishes off your month of March is Major Arcana, Death card, and it's in the upright. I like to see this card upright because this indicates we are transforming an area of our life that is so much needed. And uh, it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you, this could be a relationship. For others of you, it could be... Uh, a work situation, a home situation, anything like that. Uh, definitely there's an area of your life that needs to transform. It needs to either come to uh, an end if it's something that is uh, like very, um, maybe very toxic in your life. Maybe there's a situation that needs to come to a complete end. For others of you, this is probably just about, uh, it needs there's some area of your life that just simply needs a transformation. And uh, although you may not be feeling 100% strong and 100% in your Leo strength, you will be, um, I think, by the end of the month completing this and because the death card is in the upright. So it looks like you're, some of you could be struggling with a particular situation, but uh, it looks like even though you may think that you don't have the strength to pull through, in the end, I believe that you do. And by the end of the month, you will be transforming an area of your life. Interesting reading, um, Leo. Very interesting. I wish you all the best. I hope that this reading uh, helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I'll see you soon. Bye.